How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. Hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos and streams here on the channel. If you guys would also please head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. Stream there at least once a week whether it's for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, Destiny 2. And of course if you guys have any movies, games, or shows you guys want me to cover here on the channel. Please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, we're talking positives and negatives, talking about a subscriber request. Thank you, Mike, for um, requesting me to watch Eraser from 1996. The movie is rated R. It's about an hour and 50 minutes long. And they have, I guess, made sequels and prequels, and they're working on more Eraser-like content in this universe. And this is the original film that follows the actor of Arnold Schwarzenegger, aka the eraser and his job is to protect a whistleblower dr colin and this doctor has evidence of major corporations selling weapons to terrorists and the eraser has to also deal with the fact that his own department is part of the gigantic conspiracy and watching this movie you can tell that it is a <clears throat> it is a i'm gonna lose my voice <clears throat> you can tell that this is going to be a 90s action flick and it unfortunately is and it suffers from a lot of problems from the 90s it has decent action this movie has decent action it's a good summer movie to watch but unfortunately this movie suffers greatly from not being realistic there are so many bonkers there are so many bizarre moments and a film can have those oh film can have bonkers bizarre moments and it still work within reality within you know it being real but this film goes so far out where it escapes the realm of realism and you're just like okay there is no human possible way that would ever work in real life and there are several moments in this film that i'm just like okay i am i i've just left reality like this is this literally could not happen and the problem is is that this movie is trying to be grounded it's trying to be realistic but when it has those bonkers and bizarre scenes that escape reality it kind of pulls you out of the movie and you're like what just happened <laughs> um the film is unfortunately because of that it becomes amusingly bad there are several obnoxious moments and characters and it's just overall it's a 90s action flick that most people myself included are going to forget easily i know there is a gigantic fandom of this film and people like this movie and hate everything else that is eraser related um i haven't seen anything else in this universe and i'm kind of now tempted to watch some of it to see maybe if it's an improvement or if it's a disservice because honestly this movie is very average it's bearable to watch but it's not something that i can say you should watch over and over again so with that, I'm giving a race surf from 1996 a 6 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.